Hello everyone, welcome to Rainy Day Let's Play. I'm Solon, and I'm very excited to bring to you today Sweet Fuse at Your Side. This is a KI and Idea Factory game, and it is a, a dating sim that I'm very excited to... Oh, it's looping around again. That's what I get for being slow. And so yeah, this is a dating sim that I'm very excited to share with you. Uh, it was... Uh, uh, it was on Twitter. Twitter I found out about this game by a fantastic person I started following named Sproutella. Highly recommend you follow them because they are a, a blast and have a lot of great uh, dating sim recommendations. So, we're gonna use the same name as last time. We play as Saki Inafune, and the story is as follows. Mmm, is it morning already? I guess I fell asleep after all. Ugh, shut up, alarm. Much better. Well, uncle, I hope you're ready. My uncle is the creator of a new theme park called The Gamatorium. He'd invited me to the pre-opening event, but I'd been so excited and restless, I'd barely slept. All right, Kane Debu. Let's hope it goes well. That my con oh it is this little guy is called Kane Debu and he's the Gamatorium's mascot my uncle gave him to me a while back he's super adorable but more importantly he looks like a rice ball and rice balls are delicious these are our priorities anyway I got out of bed as fast as I could I had big plans for my day at the park I wish I could bring some of my friends but the invite said it was just for staff and their relatives Oh well, I'm sure I can have lots of fun all by myself. Those are famous last words. Alright, time to get dressed. Oh, she has such a nice room. Why leave it? We can just stay in that room forever. Gosh, I can't believe it's actually really finally opening. I guess he was telling the truth. <laughs> My uncle is Keiji Inafune, a game creator known throughout the universe. There's like, there's like some galaxies out there that uh, Keiji's actually reached out to, and it's very intergalactic. So yeah, okay, our uncle is Keiji Inafune. That's awesome! He made Mega Man. He's the... he is now more famous than ever, actually, after his Kickstarter of uh, the Mighty Number no. 9, than he was before... <laughs> before he... while well, he even had made Mega Man. Anyway. He'd been telling me for years that his dream was to make a theme park from all of his favorite games. Well, awesome! We, we get to play as the niece of Keiji Inafune. Ah, Inafune, someday your uncle's gonna make a theme park and every single attraction will be based on a video game. That's, that's a quote. <laughs> Hello, niece. I'm gonna make a video game theme park and you can't question me because you are beneath me. I don't know. Doesn't that sound great? Wouldn't you like to meet the heroes and heroines from your favorite games? That sounds like a dream come true. <laughs> sounds really nice. It's not that surprising he did it, really. He's always making his dreams into reality, and video games are a pretty big deal these days. Finally, Saki is... she is grounding us. <laughs> She's like, eh, not big. You know, video games are huge. Why not video game theme park? There's a Harry Potter theme park? And there's theme parks that just exist on their own, so why not video games? Every single thing in the park is based on a popular game. Now approaching Kanehama Station, 
Kanayama Station next stop. Oh! We're getting off. I sure hope nothing bad happens today. Wink! Ah, Inofuna, you are just... You are doing this to us! Now this is a gamatorium. This is where the game happens. I made my way out of the busy station and walked quickly toward the park. Excitement! Putting a spring in my step. This is it! This is the gamatorium! The only people who'd been allowed in were some staff members, their families, and some news crews. But even so, the place was packed. Aha! Looks like that seat's open! We smiled at each other as I sat down in the empty seat. Who's we? I don't want to smile at anyone. I could see a number of older men in suits sitting on the stage in the front. I figured they must have been the park's managers and owners. They're the, they're the bureaucrats in their nice suits. In front of the stage was a whole row of cameras. They had to belong to the press. It's really getting a lot of attention, huh? I saw a story about how the Gamatorium was op about to open on TV just the other day. Good. Thought they are getting it around. I was still looking around excitedly when I heard a drum roll start up. <laughs> okay! <laughs> it's an interesting way. Usually, you know, like, pumping EDM music and like, Alright, we're gonna get started now, and the lights dim. <clears throat> but apparently, drum roll. It sounded like things were about to start. I could hear a band begin to play. This is it! It's finally starting! Thank you all so much for coming to the Gamatorium today. I am Mr. Inofune, the creator of this theme park. That's him! That's my uncle! And then... I almost leapt up to wave at him before I caught myself. Now, let me tell you a little bit about the Gamatorium. Uh-oh, I autoed it. Something wrong with the mic? I can't hear him. He stepped back from the mic, confused, and tapped it a couple times. I hope everything's okay. I was starting to fidget when suddenly... Game? What? Oh dear. <laughs> Game me a break! You're going to pay for this! What? What is this? I can see my uncle running back and forth in confusion. He's like... What the heck is going on? Who's that voice? What are they talking about? And why are their puns so terrible? Something was wrong. Even from far away, I could see that the men in suits all looked very stiff. Even stiffer than usual, I guess. Hey, look! I turned toward where he was pointing. <laughs> what? <laughs> Saki, that is a perfectly normal reaction to this crowd of people in what looked like black unitards were running in through the entrance. Ah! Who are they? Is this some sort of performance art? This does look pretty spectacular. Of course. See, that would make sense. My uncle's always been good at thinking up fun stuff, and he's got a great sense of humor. The guys in the unitards ran up to the stage and started starting tying up the men in business suits. I couldn't begin to guess what was going to happen next, so I just kept watching with bated breath. So, uh, I've done away with that park mascot thing. Kane debut, right? Same mascot I had in my phone strap. I wasn't sure what he'd meant by doing away with Kane debut. What, did that mean the theme park was going to close? Gosh, Uncle Keiji, you sure think of some weird stuff. Golly, Uncle Keiji. Everyone seemed stunned that the park's mascot would be done away with on the first day. Yeah, that sounds like, <laughs> that sounds like game journalists. They're like tweeting away, Mascot! Done away with! Don't know what means! Phew! Front page. Looking at how worked up the audience had gotten, I was sure my uncle was feeling pretty proud of himself. Then suddenly, smoke filled the stage, and I could just barely make out something rising up from below it. What is that? A costume? It looked a little like a Kane debut, but it was different. Hello, everyone! Good morning. I, Count Hogstein, will be taking control now. It's wonderful to meet you. <laughs> he had to stifle a laugh. His voice didn't match up with his costume at all. He performed an odd sort of self-indulgent pirouette and a bow. 
Oink, oink, oink. That thing that matters the most to me in all the world is money, and the one thing I can't stand is when people waste it. And boy, howdy, is this place a waste. I can't believe you people were going to give this joker your hard-earned cash. So for your sake, I will blow it up. Boom! And then he blew it up. Short game. Oh! Yep, we're straight up... This this place just started existing, and we've already gone and destroyed it. No sooner had he spoken than the Ferris wheel exploded in a thunderous roar of flames. No, we didn't need the Ferris wheel. No, we got, there's other things we can... There's other rides, right? We watched, mouths hanging open, as the symbol of the park crumbled to the ground in a cloud of smoke. This dude's a terrorist! He just blew up a theme park! It's not even open yet! I'm starting to think maybe... Maybe this isn't just an act. <laughs> oh, Saki, really? Now you're starting to think that? That intuition. As soon as I turned back to the stage, the entire crowd erupted in panic! The screams of frightened people quickly drowned out the fading rumble of the Ferris wheel's collapse. Now, now, everyone, settle down. The real show starts right now, so please, don't panic. What? <laughs> this pig isn't done yet. No, forget about him. I, I gotta get to Uncle KG. I fought my way through hundreds of terrified attendees toward the stage. Even as I did, Count Hogstein continued his stupid speech. I will now choose seven people to join me in a seven-day-long game. The bombs I've set to go off on that day will be stopped if the players can beat my game and solve my puzzles. Okay, so we've gone full saw at this point. That's my dating sim. Not a dating sim, unless <laughs> unless it's just like the plot of Saw. Jigsaw, dating sim, same thing really. If they can't, well, then the bombs go off and this park will be gone. Poof! Gone! God, they're gonna blow up the park. <laughs> That's a game! That's an attraction, how cool am I? Ha ha ha! The hell are you talking about? Taking my uncle and the park staff hostage isn't a game. The park is my uncle's dream, and there were so many people looking forward to enjoying it. What should I do? Now then, who should I pick to be my seven little heroes? Oink! Who indeed? Right. Hey! Hold on! Everybody else was trying to desperately uh, escape, but I raised my hand high in the air. Count Hogstein frowned. I'll take your challenge. I don't really know what his game is, and if I'm being honest, this is kind of scary, but... Thanks to Uncle KG, I've, I've gotten pretty good at figuring out game logic. Count Hogstein stared at me for a moment, and snorted. There aren't any take-backs here, kid! I'm not gonna care if you change your mind! I, I, I know what I'm doing! Stole a quick glance at my uncle, tied up and gagged. He looked worried. Gave him the slightest of nods, careful not to let Count Hogstein notice. Can't let this park get blown up by that creep. I'll solve his stupid puzzles and I'll save my uncle. And that's the plot. Stage one. So we are in. We have invaded Count Hogstein's pretty twisted game. Pretty messed up. Wow. This guy sure does like himself. I mean, I don't think that this pig statue was there with the cigar hanging out. I don't think that was there to begin with. I think that might have been put in there for the purposes of drama. Well, they told all the participants to come to this plaza, so here I am. I wonder who our other guests are. All in a row, my line of cuties awaits. I see six other people. Count Hogstein had mentioned seven heroes, which means the other six people there were probably the other participants. It makes sense that uh, we'd want seven heroes. Seven people, lucky number seven, uh, and just a party of seven. It's a nice number of people. Ladies and gentlemen, and you guys too, please pay attention. Boys, it's him. I wonder if, ladies and gentlemen, and people playing, does that mean there's people watching as well as, as us seven? So he kind of 
that would make sense with the ego trip, but that would also be kind of messed up. Like, uh, that weird subplot in Kick-Ass that didn't make any sense at all. That voice, it's him! Well, look who's finally decided to grace us with his presence. Oh my gosh, finally! I was getting super tired of waiting, you guys! I think everyone's gonna have their one comment. <laughs> Although I hear his voice, I do not see the man, a uh, pig, himself. From where does this voice come? There! It's coming from behind that statue! Statue? Oh, I see it! There's a TV on its back that's showing Count Hogstein, but the statue is... This thing is gross. <laughs> yeah. Gross statue. Gross statue of a gross pig. Well, it looks like you're all here, so let's move on to the fun stuff. Hoink! You're about to be pitted against the devious game I've devised. In other words, you are seven noble warriors who dare to stand up to the monstrous Count Ogstein. Hoink, hoink. For real, bro? Sure you don't want to go all in and make it hogula? Might not be cliche enough already. Well, at least he realizes he's the antagonist. First, though, I thought it'd be nice to break the ice by exchanging names! You all know mine already, but I think you're still strangers to each other. Since I'm such a swell fellow, I'll give you a little time to talk amongst yourselves. Adieu! Ah, uh, pearls amongst swine. And he's gone. Something of a wild spirit, isn't he? So, uh, we just supposed to tell each other our names and stuff? Well, if we're really gonna fight a villain, we should probably have names. 